everyone, this is your girl Jeanne Michelle from This Curvy Girl's Life and I am here today to talk to you guys a little bit about the nude lip. So I personally have a thing for just a beautiful nude lip. However, I am dark skinned and so when I see a lot of the nude lips on the market now, they are either a little too rosy, like they have like a little bit of a too much of a pink undertone, or they go in the more beigey yellowish section. And for me, a nude lip is a nude lip against my skin tone like so when I'm wearing a nude lip that has a pink undertone or more of a beige undertone it just looks like I'm wearing a, uh, a nude color versus having a nude lip I hope you guys understand what I'm saying so I'm here to give you guys my top six nude lips for dark skinned ladies and these range from lipsticks to lip gloss and I really think they go really well. And I'm also going to talk about two lip pencils that I use to help blend those colors together. So let's jump right into the nude lip conversation. So with the nude lip conversation, I'm going to be talking about two lip pencils that I use all the time when I am wearing a nude lip. So the first color that we're going to talk about is Chestnut by MAC Cosmetics. It is a lip pencil. It is a beautiful brown it is a beautiful brown pencil that I love to wear especially when when I'm wearing nude colors and then I also like um, wearing the bittersweet prolonged wear lip pencil and this is also by MAC cosmetics so bittersweet is a little bit of a darker brown that I absolutely love to wear as well I feel like these are both long lasting but the bittersweet prolonged wear is formulated to have a very lasting effect but um, I love both of these pencils so you'll see me interchange these with the lip colors that we'll be talking about today so the first color I want to talk to you guys about is the velvet lip glide in the color arena by NARS and I absolutely love this it is the perfect brown nude it's actually the color that I have on my lips right now and what I love about it is it's very smooth when it goes on like it glides on very velvety like the name says it all but then it kind of has this matte finish but yet it doesn't feel like a matte lipstick so it doesn't really dry out or anything like that it actually feels like a lipstick with a matte finish um, I don't know it's like a combination of lipstick a gloss and a matte lip and a matte lip which is like a weird combination but it just works but I absolutely love this particular one just because as you can see it is definitely a nude for my skin complexion it gives me that perfect nude color and you can see here it literally blends kind of into my skin complexion which gives me a very nude color which is perfect for me it's not too pink it's not too beige it just has a very nice brown tone to it that gives me a great nude finish the next lipstick that i absolutely love is photo by mac cosmetics mac <laughs> cosmetics and this is a satin lipstick it is just this gorgeous brown that you can see now what I love about this lipstick is it is a satin finish so it feels really good on the lips but it also has kind of a reddish undertone so if I am going for a nude lip where I do kind of want a little bit of a pink or a red undertone I think this one really goes well because it shows up um, a little bit better than like the NARS for example like the NARS that I just had on is very neutral like it, it is a, a very neutral tone for my skin tone this one here shows up a little bit more so you can actually really see a color on my lips and what else I love about this is it goes really well with the bittersweet pencil and it just blends out really well I think for dark skin ladies that want a pop of color um, maybe for spring or something like that but still want that neutral look I think that this is a really great option and once again this is photo by MAC cosmetics this is stone by matte cosmetics this is a matte lipstick and this one 
I don't want to say this incorrectly, but I kind of feel like this one has a little bit more of a cool undertone. So I was going to say ashy, but it's cool. Um, it kind of almost has like a grayish kind of undertone, but when mixed with the chestnut pencil, I just feel like it gives you a really great nude color. I think this is a great, another great nude option for women of color. And as you can see, it just blends in really well for dark skinned women. And like I said, I feel like if you're darker than me, but you still want to use a color like stone, then the bittersweet pencil which is a little bit darker than chestnut may be the option for you to go with and this one also I feel like has a little bit more of that kind of deep chocolatey feel to it so it may blend really well but I think for my skin tone that the chestnut and the stone together work really well if you like a cool tone but like you know something for deeper skin tones in a matte in a nude finish then stone is definitely would be your friend so definitely try stone from matte cosmetics this is brownie by tarte and this is one of their tartiest lip paints this color i think goes really well with the bittersweet pencil from mac it just helps to really blend in the color it has like this very beautiful finish that is matte it goes on really smooth um the texture of it gliding on the lips actually reminds me a lot of the nars velvet velvety glide but i absolutely love this color just because it is so neutral and it's so perfect it is um i think when you blend it with a pencil it, it has a very nice warm undertone but I feel like on its own it is slightly cooler as you can see there you can see it kind of has a little bit of that beige undertone you can see that it definitely um, goes really well with my skin tone and so I absolutely love this particular one and I'll be sure to put all of the names and cost and where you can get it in the description box below so that you guys can go and check these out but once again this is the Tartius lip paint by Tarte Cosmetics and this is in the color brownie this next one that I want to talk about is actually another one by MAC Cosmetics and this is Vamplify and this is in the color Fab Tested. This is actually a very um, pigmented gloss. You can see that this is a very highly pigmented gloss but it glides on smooth. It has a great color payoff, has a great shine. What I absolutely love about this particular color is on its own without a pencil, it just works. It's a great um, color to pop on if you're running out the door for quick errands or anything like that or if you just want to go for a very neutral, um, very um, simple look for the day and you just want to pop on a little bit of gloss, maybe a little foundation, hit up your eyebrows out the door whatever it is but this is a great color to do that because it gives you a little bit of color payoff um, gives you a little bit of shine and it just looks really good what I also love about this is because it does because it is a very neutral nude tone it actually can go great over the colors that I've shown you so far so I actually love wearing this just on its own no pencil like right now I have no pencil on and this is one of my favorite ways to wear this particular one but once again this is Vamplify by MAC Cosmetics and this is in the color Fab Tested next we have the Smashbox and this is their Be Legendary lip gloss and this is in the color cognac so what i love about this is this is kind of like my everyday lipstick i actually or lip gloss i will throw this on on a regular work day because on most work days i don't wear makeup um so but i love to have just a little bit of something on my lips and so this is my go-to i keep this in my bag and i absolutely love it it is a glossy lip gloss it has a little bit of shimmer to it it's really pretty it's just this beautiful cognac deep brown color that i absolutely love and 
this is a little bit more lightweight than the Vamplify so if you did want to top another one of these colors off you can do it with this one because this is a little bit more white uh, lightweight and doesn't add as much color as the Vamplify would if you're adding it on top of another lipstick and you just want to give it that glossy look but on its own this is really nice it glides on really well it doesn't feel sticky and it just has um, a little bit of color payoff but you can what I've noticed about this is if I do more than one layer of this you really see the color payoff but on its own it's just absolutely beautiful it's great to top off with other nude lips so once again this is the Smashbox Be Legendary lip gloss in cognac those are my six true nude colors for dark skinned women I think that you would definitely enjoy these colors if you haven't tried them definitely go out and try them and let me know what you think if you have tried them if these are colors that you like or if you have colors that you think would go really great I would love to hear from you so definitely drop me a line in the description box below leave me a comment tell me what you think about these colors and if you have any colors that you want to add to this list of true nude colors for the dark skin woman once again thank you guys so much for joining my channel and i hope that you enjoyed today's video until the next video deuces